you realize that Americans give $300 billion a year to charity? Yeah. And from there, it's all about appropriation. That's why I got involved with it. Sharing is caring. Hey, Gutenberg, why don't you get yourself a Kindle? You'd be the last man on earth to have newsprint on his fingertip. Do you mind? I know what you're doing. You're quietly drawing attention to yourself. Hey, look at me. I'm supporting the dying print media. I'm drawing attention to myself. You, dressed like Gordon Gecko. How am I dressed like Gordon Gecko? How am I Gutenberg? I'll have you know the organization I work for demands a very strict dress code. So you dress like a day trader in order to work for charity. I work for a charitable organization. There's a difference. We raise money for charity, which is even greater good than working directly for the charity itself. You know what irks me? 22,000 children a day, worldwide, die from preventable diseases, and there's people like you that sit there and drink their skinny lattes like it doesn't even faze them. I'll have you know that a percentage of proceeds from this coffee are sent to Bolivian families working on the coffee fields, okay? Secondly, this is not a skinny latte. It is a cafe americano with a dash of half and half. Just so you know, the haberdashery that I purchased this fine suit from gives 15% of every dollar to wipe out sweatshops all over the world. Really? See these shoes? By one pair of these shoes, two are shipped to some needy family somewhere in the world. Can you run in those shoes? Because I just ran a marathon for the March of Dimes. Run the marathon in a wheelchair, and then we'll talk. You want to talk charitable contributions? Because I maxed out my credit card sending money to the earthquake victims in Haiti, Chile, Japan. Save the interest on your credit card and give blood next time. Oh, I give blood. I give blood about a gallon. You see this? Oh, what? Every strand of my unwanted hair goes to lots of love. Ah. How about that? What does your carbon footprint look like? Zero. Even less than zero. Probably infinitesimal. I would say it's negative zero. I'm glad you raise money for this charitable organization and don't manage it. I have been solar since 2000. And I also give money to the arts and the humanities. Not only that, I give money to my church, the local animal shelter. I give money to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I uh, what give about money to autism? homeless people on the streets. What about autism? What about breast cancer? What about diabetes? I don't see a pink ribbon on you. I'm glad you asked. This is a beat red wristband from the Lance Armstrong Live Strong Foundation. I thought those were yellow. There are only three of these in existence. Lance has one, the Koch brothers have one, and I have one. It unites and inspires 28 million people worldwide who are suffering with all forms of cancer. The Koch brothers have one. Do they share it? Obviously, if there are only three and the Koch brothers have one, they must share it. It's like sharing a Coke. Look, charity in this country only exists to the extent that it does. So that corporations can, can pillage and plunder by day and still rest at night. Oh, I didn't realize that. So the selfless concern of others doesn't even come into play. Emotional affordances are nothing more than a tax write-off from them. Raising awareness is, is a corporate slogan. It doesn't mean anything. It's, it's, it's all a way to, for corporations to like play three-card Monty with the IRS, and by extension, the US taxpayer. 
You're drawing a line in the sand between the needy and the greedy. I can't blame you for doing that. Uh, yeah, you know what? The, they are, the haves are fewer and they've got more. The have-nots are more and they have less. This whole notion of, of charitable giving is a part of it. It's an illusion, okay? You know they're rioting in the streets as we speak? Are you aware of this? I want to buy you an Americana. You're going to buy me a... I want to buy you an Americana. You know why? Why? Because the Guatemalan coffee farmers will get their cut. You get a free cup of coffee. But most importantly, I get to sleep tonight. And don't forget the uh, dash and half and half. I meant to tell you something about half and half. It used to be half milk and half cream. No longer. The cream once did rise to the top. Now emulsifiers, stabilizers, additives, preservatives, all keep it at the bottom. Why are you telling me this? Because nothing is ever half anything or half anything else. And not all human behavior is guided by self-interest. No, only, only half. Which half are you on?